Trinity Evangelical Lutheran Church. Trinity Evangelical Lutheran Church. Trinity Evangelical Lutheran Church. A family of believers. A family of believers. A family of believers. Shares the gospel. Shares the gospel of Jesus Christ. To nurture God's people. And to reach out. And to reach out. And to bring others to Christ. To bring others to Christ. All to glorify God. All to glorify God. Trinity Evangelical Lutheran Church, a family of believers, shares the gospel of Jesus Christ to nurture God's people and to reach out to bring others to Christ, all to glorify God. Our mission statement says it all, who we are, what we do, and why. That mission statement was developed 15 years ago as a direct result of going through the Parish Assistance Program. It was a program that helped us honestly evaluate current ministry at Trinity, dream about the future, and purposely plan the next five years. Trinity has done this twice before with amazing results. We are about to embark on this process once again. But before we do that, let us first see how God blessed Trinity the last two times. Think back to 1998. Trinity looked very different. There was no ministry center. There was no opportunity to talk to each other, no ministry space. We only had one pastor. Worship attendance was low. There were only 12 ministries at Trinity. But we were at work at turning things around. We entered into the parish assistance program. The result was a five-year plan, and God blessed that plan. As a direct result of that vision, I came. I came. And a ministry center was constructed. This endeavor was greatly blessed by God, for we paid off the $1.2 million project, as well as a $1.7 million school building project. By God's grace, we paid off both within three years. Also as a result of that vision planning, in 2003 we began our blended worship, which has grown to such an extent that 75% of our congregation now attends a blended style worship. But under God's blessings, we grew in so many other ways. Under that first vision, 26 new ministries were added as we sought to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to nurture God's people and bring others to Christ. God's blessings were evident to all. That's why Trinity was actually the focus of a video produced by our national church body, The Wells. Some of you may remember watching this video in 2007. Another exciting thing happened. We laid the groundwork for a new church in the Frankfurt, New Lenox area. As a result of our work, a new mission church was started, Amazing Love. As you can see, God blessed that first five-year plan. But when that first vision was done, we were not done. We once again used the Parish Assistance Program to help us plan for the future. God blessed this second plan called Trinity 2014. As a result of Trinity 2014, we added a ministry designed to help us understand our part in the body of Christ and how each one of us can make a difference in his kingdom. Personal member ministry began, and as a result, I came. Lori Lorig was hired as the personal member ministry coordinator and assisting her, Tracy Johnson. I came. Not many remember it, but we also embarked on another building project. This was to include renovations in the sanctuary, close off the street between Trinity and the elementary building, expand the fellowship hall, add a multi-purpose gym that could be used by the school, teen ministry, and even be used for contemporary worship. We were ready to hire an architect, but the economy took a quick downturn, and the voters wisely decided to table the project until the economy changed. Under Trinity 2014, our ministries grew to where today we now have 54 different ministries sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ to nurture God's people and reach out to bring others to Christ, all to glorify God. Now our current vision, Trinity 2014, is coming to a close. We have once again started the process for the next long-range vision for Trinity. 
contracting with Crossroads Consultants. Some of the very same consultants from our previous visions will be helping us again. There is a lot of work to be done, a lot of hard questions to ask and answer, and a lot of dreaming. Dreaming how to glorify God in the future. There will be multiple opportunities to contribute and make a difference for this congregation. You will be able to determine what kind of congregation Trinity will look like in 2020. Please take these opportunities and actively be a part of the family of believers here at Trinity.